Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another video, and yes, from the title, I'm going to be doing a whole overview of the 2023 season, and now I know, I, I think I did a um, uh, 2023 season overview, but a few weeks ago, I know I did a ladder prediction, if you haven't watched that, go check that out before you watch this one, and what I'm going to do, go through from the title I've put, I'm going to go through the top five players in the 2023 season and the key dates for the next year and a quick overview of the 2023 season, what's going to happen and what are the big dates or more model or stuff like that. So if you're not understanding me, just watch the video, try and be very quick. Let's get straight into it. So top five players. When you say top five players, you're kind of, you're kind of looking for who has played the best. But no, what I'm, what I'm about to list here are top five players to look out for next season or, or kind of a breakout season into next season. You know what I kind of mean? Like last year, some players didn't play out of injury. And now this is the top five players to look out for on what, how, not, not who ever, ever the best is next season, on top five players on how they've come back to play. That's what I want to go for here. So I've got some honourable mentions on this list. And some star players, we could say star players, that aren't on this top five. That could be. Start off, we've got LeBron James. Now, LeBron James, of course, he's entering his 20th season with the Lakers. Decided to say with the Lakers, how will he work with all the young guys, the Lakers? Is he going to stay? Will he play with Bronny when he comes back in the league in, I think, two years and when the draft comes? LeBron, he's, he's a great player. He's going to play amazing. He's, how old is he? I think 34, 33 or even 35, something like that. But how will he cope with entering his 20th season? Is he just going to play his normal game? I think he'll be very good next year, but he's not in the top five to look out for. We know how LeBron plays. Some people probably say he's a top five, but we know how LeBron plays. We know how he moves the ball. We know how he shoots. We know his shooting percentage is pretty up there. Next up is uh, Kevin Durant. As you know, Kevin Durant, um, why he's not in the top five is because we did see him play last season. We honestly, we did see him play uh, last season with the Nets. Um, there was trade. Did there was some trade rumors with him and the Nets this off season? What is he going to stay? What is he going to do? But the reason why he's not in this top five is because we we know how these players play. We know how um, Kevin Durant plays. LeBron plays. Kevin Durant. Um, he, I think he'll work very well with Kyrie Irving, but I don't think that he's in the top five because we know we we've seen him play in the playoffs against Boston round one. We saw how Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving play. They're okay. But heading into this next season with Ben Simmons, if he is he going to cope? Ben Simmons wasn't my top five, then I changed it for someone else. Ben Simmons, he's healthy back. It was, I watched the Nets media day in first training camp. Ben Simmons working very well. He's going to be back. He's honestly a top five player to look out for. I'll probably, I'll, I'll probably put him as six. And then moving on, we got Nikola Jokic. We, we watched him play last season. He, he's a gun. You know he is. MVP, two-time MVP. He's looking for his third straight. What are we going to see from him? Because he's got his star players back in Jamal Murray and Michael Porter Jr. Is he? I think he's probably, he's going to have to share the load. Now that you... Net, Denver don't really have to rely on Nicole Jokic. You can rely on other shooters like Jamal Murray and Michael Porter Jr. You can also rely on, as you know, Will Barton and Monte Morris is gone. But you get KCP. From the Wizards, so Nikola Jokic will play an MVP standard as he always does, averages triple double nearly every game. But he's not in the top five. We know how we already play. So these players I'm listing here are great. They're going to be improved better. But the top five players I'm looking out for is who's coming back healthy, who is going to be playing the best, and then finally Rudy Gobert. Now, why Rudy Gobert is because. You want to look out for him. He's just got traded from Jazz to Minnesota. He'll be working with Cat. He'll be working Anthony Edwards, uh, D'Angelo Russell, all those guys. So we know how Rudy Gobert plays, but how will he cope with Cat, Edwards, and Angelo? I think they'll be have a great combination with Minnesota. That's why I put them. I think I put them at seven. I think in the ladder prediction, they could be even higher. They could be top five. Anyway. That's the star players from last season who you could say to look out for as well. But then our main top five is number five, Zion Williamson. Why Zion? Yet Zion back from Pelicans. He's going to be healthy. He's going to be a star player with Brendan Ingram. Uh, Brendan Ingram, CJ McCollum, Jonas Valanciunas. He'll be healthy, ready to go. Uh, number four, I put James Wiseman. 
why James Wiseman? I put James Wiseman there for a reason, is because I I watched him in the Warriors uh, Wizards game, in the some um in the preseason in Japan games. If you didn't see that, he dropped twenty points. I'll get to that more in a sec. But James Wiseman, I'm excited to see what he can come back, because he just can't, he hasn't played last season. He was suspected to come back. He's now playing against with Steph, Clay, Draymond. Pool, all the um, Iguodala, if he's a veteran, if he even plays. But I'm excited what he can bring with the teamwork of Looney, the big man. I think he'll do very well. And then moving on to three. Now, these top two, three and two are from injuries. Number three, we've got Kawhi Leonard. I'm really excited what you guys have to look out for Kawhi Leonard. He's getting healthier. He will get healthier. How will he cope with a new outfit of Clippers? you got Paul George also coming back healthy. I'll put Kawhi here instead of Paul George because Paul George has played. Paul George played a bit last season, but Kawhi Leonard hasn't played last season. So I'm excited to see what he can bring. He's getting healthy. He'll probably bring his A standard, of course. I'm excited to see what the Clippers can do next season with John Wall, uh, Marcus Morris Sr., Paul George, Reggie Jackson. Like That's a fully sacked team. Robert Collington in that team. Number two... Damian Lillard from the Portland Trailblazers. I haven't, we haven't seen him play in a long time. I'm excited to see how he can play, how he is role players with um, Jeremy Grant, uh, GP2, um, Simon, Simmons, all those guys as well. I'm excited to see what he can achieve at the point guard position, working with uh, the big man, the young guys, the guards, the bench, all those people. Damian Lillard would play. I think he's a, he's a guy up there you should look out for as well with Damian Lillard. There might be some other guys, you know, like um, Kyrie Irving. Okay, you should put him up there. You should put up the rookies like Jordan Poole up there or you should put like Anthony Davis. But these people I'm looking at are coming back from injuries. They're going to be healthy in this offseason. They're going to get back preseason ready. The number one, this is, I don't know why I put him number one. I put Pat Beverly. The reason why he, in I watched this like a press conference, he is ready to win. He wants to win every game. He wants to help Russia Westbrook get better. He wants to work with LeBron and AD. He really is ready for this team. I think Patrick Beverly is the kind of guy that always wants to win, has a winning mentality, never wants to lose, always gets mad if something goes wrong. That's what I like about him. I like his physical attributes, his physical stuff he does so i'm excited to see what he can do next season he's the number one player on my mind i'm ready to see what he can do maybe you could you could put damien the number one but patrick beverly for me i think he is going to be well with lakers i reckon he will be very good patrick beverly is kind of also tied with honestly he's also tied with jamal murray i reckon he's very tied with that or even some other players if you think someone else would be up there I just quickly wrote this down on my first head preference on who's the best. That's what I'm going to go for there. Radio top five done. Zion, James Wiseman, Kawhi Leonard, uh, Damian Lillard, Patrick Beverly. Now we're going to go through a quick overview of the key dates. Key dates of the 2023 season. First off, there's the Global Games. Pre-season September 30th to 14th, you've got the Global Games. You've got the Warriors vs. Wizard. That game already happened. And then today, right now, you got Sunday, October 2nd, Wizards versus Warriors again. So Warriors are up 1-0 to that game. They've got versus Wizards again in Tokyo. And then October 6th, you got Bucks versus Hawks in the Abu Dhabi um, games. And then Bucks versus Hawks again in the Abu Dhabi games. This is all preseason games. They're just going to these big cities for preseason games to get themselves ready for the 2023 season. And then... Moving on, you've got the tip-off. 2023 season starts October 18 with uh, 76ers versus Celtics. How will the new 76ers lineup go with Celtics without the head coach? And then Lakers versus Warriors, 10 a.m., I think, at Chase Center. I think. I think so. And I think that's when we get our championship rings as well. And then you've got Knicks versus uh, Memphis. Dallas v Suns, and then on Thursday you got Bucks seventy sixes, Clippers Lakers, L A combo. How will Kawhi Leonard, Paul George, and Patrick Beverly LeBron go? That's gonna be amazing game to watch. And then again Celtics Heat, and then Nuggets Warriors. That's on the twenty uh, twenty first. 
And then if you're looking for Christmas Day, if you're excited for Christmas Day, I'm always excited for Christmas Day. You've got 76ers, Knicks, Lakers, Mavericks, Bucks, Celtics, Grizzlies, Warriors, Suns, Nuggets. The game on Christmas Day you want to look out for is really Bucks Celtics. That's the that's the semi final of last year in the playoffs. That's a good game to look out for for that one. And then All Star Weekend, last week last year was in Cleveland. This year's in Utah. All Star Twenty Twenty Three February Seventeen to Nineteen. You got uh, All Star Game. You've got three point contest, dunk contest, skills challenge, rookies rookie game. Although you know that you know that team from last year. And then after the that's the the, the next big date is the plane tournament from April 11 to 14. That's with all the top 10 to 7 players battling out for that last playoff spot. And then finals begin. That's really the play-in and, you know, playoff start. And then NBA finals, game one, June one. Who will that finals be? Will it be Warriors? Will it be Clippers? Will it be Nets? Will it be, who will be in the making that grand final? Not grand final. NBA finals. It's NRL. We're not talking about that yet, are we? And then I think... We got through the key dates. Now let's have a quick view of the Warriors Wizards game that happened. Yes, no, two days ago. Two days ago, we'll look at the summary. So if, can we turn it on the side? Yeah, okay. So here we go. So the summary top performers, as you know, James Wiseman, rookie, first NBA game back, dropped twenty points, nine rebounds, one assist, and of course, Rui Hachimura dropped thirteen, nine and zero. Knew we got a triple double there. Um. And then you've got the injury who didn't play, not injury report, but players didn't play, which was Clay Thompson, who was out with no injury, just resting him for so he doesn't get back injured. Will Barton was also out. Comparisons now, Warriors were 36.7% and was war, um, Wizards were 369 So they were better in field goals. Three-pointers, we were 100% better in three-pointers. We only made seven. We only made seven three-pointers. Free throws, way better than free throws. Assists, they had more assists. Fast break point, that's the big one you have to look at there. We had 12, they had 7. And then the offensive rebounds, we had better. Steel, the Warriors had, um, not, Wizards had more steals in that game. And then next match coming up is uh, Warriors, Wizards, which is today at 3 p.m. So that's really the main stuff here. If we go to the box score, Steph Curry did start. He dropped 6 points, Pool 5. Looney four, Green four, Wiggins five, and off the bench, Mooney five, Divinten Dante drops nine. Uh Jamarco Green didn't have any points. Kaminga six, Rollins eight, Baldwin seven. I'm really liking on how the rookies are going. Patrick Bowen drops seven. Wiseman drops twenty. Divincenzo drops nine. Like all the, they're not really rookies. Dante and Jamal Green aren't rookies, but they're new players. I like seeing them win. And that's really all with Wizards. Who are the rookies there? You got uh, Bradley Beal comes back. I'm excited to see what he can do. Rui Hachimura drops seven. Porzingis on um, first game. Uh, Porzingis and Beal played together. And then Johnny Davis from the draft drops four. So. That's really all about this video, guys. Uh, if it's very rushed, I'll put in the description. Top five teams I've put in. I want to put that in you see before I watch the video. I'll put the dates in and then more information. That's it, guys. Uh, I probably won't do a game review of the Warriors-Wizards second game. I'll see how I go. But the next video I do will probably be... I'll probably put out this uh, in a grand final prediction. Put that out. Anyway, thanks for watching. They're my top five players. I put Beverly on top. I think he'll go very well. If you think I should change it or you think it will be different, comment down below what you want to do, what you, what you think the best five is. Anyway, thanks for watching. 2023 season is going to start off very soon. The overview is it's going to be a good season. Going to be good. Going to be ready. Going to be full on energy. The dates are out. This next season is different because I think this season is everyone is healthy. Everyone is healthy in this, every team in this league right now. I'm excited. I'm pumped. Let's get it. Thanks for watching, guys. Till next time, enjoy life and have fun. Peace.